yo, where'd you cop those shoes, man? Those are tight. I haven't seen those shoes like that. Where you get that shoes, man? I'm so down for those shoes. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Ken Henry Daily here with a custom shoe tutorial. This is kind of this is kind of like a back to school tutorial because I know a lot of people are trying to go back to school, but then you know, like they don't have a lot of money to buy a new pair of shoes. And they have a couple like worn out shoes in the backyard somewhere. And if you guys are wondering what the customized shoes look like, it looks like this. Uh, this used to be an all gray uh, pair of Vans. These are really, really old. 2009, I believe, when I got these. Sewn on snakeskin fabric just to revive the look of it. But it looks pretty dope after I uh, fixed it up. If you guys want to see both pairs, here's both of the pairs. Before you guys continue with this tutorial, make sure you know how to hand sew and use a sewing op because I'm going to be bo using both of those skills and or tools in the tutorial and the reason why I'm not going to be showing you guys how to do that is because it will make the tutorial too long. So putting all that aside, let's just get straight into the tutorial. Here's an overview of all the materials you're going to need for this tutorial. Note that half of these are optional. First thing you're going to need is some fabric, make sure it's pretty thick. Next thing you're going to need is just some duct tape. Next thing you're going to need is just some cloth excess fabric just to fill up the shoe. Next is totally optional which is just a pair of tweezers. Next is a pair of scissors. Now the sewing out is completely optional, you don't need to go out and buy one if you don't have one. But instead you can be using a just a really long needle just to hand sew. The roti cutter is optional. You're gonna need some pins. And the last thing is gonna be this polyester thread. So the first thing you wanna do is just remove the laces off your pair of shoes. Just gonna make it easier to sew on the fabric. For the next step, we're gonna be making the template for the front and the back of the shoe. And the way we do that is we fill up the shoe like there is an actual foot in there just get it this is just gonna make it easier to make the template after you're done filling up your shoe next we're gonna be making the template the way that we make the template is that we grab the scotch tape or any type of tape and start basically outlining the shape the front of the shoe and the back of the shoe with tape so you want to have the exact shape laid out with tape and in the next clip it'll show you what I mean. I'm just basically putting tape along this and then later on you can just peel it off and paste it onto a piece of paper. Just gonna make it easier to cut out the shape on a piece of fabric. So further along the line when you're done it should look like something similar to this that it's almost exactly the outline of the front of the shoe. Make sure there's no excess tape sticking out because that's very bad later on. So I'm just making it very, very accurate. It has to be accurate or else it's just gonna mess up your shoe. After you finish taping the front side of this shoe, you wanna start taping the back and the way that I tape the back I always start from the bottom of the shoe near the platform of the shoe this is this is an easier way to do it don't so you don't have to use as much tape and you can be as accurate as you can and then after you got the whole bottom of the back side of the shoe done you want to start doing the curve and the way that I do the curve I cut little pieces so it can make it as close and accurate as I can to the shape of the backside. And then after you're done, it should look roughly like this. Afterwards, you want to start peeling it off and pasting it on a piece of paper. So this is going to just make it easier for you to cut out the fabric. Because if you don't use a piece of paper, the tape is just going to stick onto the fabric and it's just going to make a big mess out of things, so you don't want that. And so I'm just pasting on a piece of paper and then you want to just cut out these shapes. Be as accurate as you can because this is very crucial as I've been saying throughout the video. It has to be very, very accurate. So once you cut out the template, throw it onto the shoe and 
make sure that it's still accurate and it still fits throughout the shoe. So right here, I'm just testing out the front side of the shoe, making sure everything is nice and fit. Here's a sample of what both templates should look like. And then right after, you want to just cut out the shape. So this one, I'm just going to be doing the front part of the shoe and then checking if it still is a good, accurate shape. And then you want to cut out the back side as well. Then after you're done cutting it, throw it onto the back side of the shoe and make sure it's a nice fit. If it isn't accurate, you might want to go back and redo the template so you don't have problems later. The next thing we're going to be doing is pinning the fabric onto the shoe. And the places that I pin the fabric is the right, left, and the middle of the shoe. This is going to keep the fabric in place so when we hand sew, it doesn't get out of place. So just follow the places where I pin and you should be all good. After you got all the fabric pinned down onto the shoe, you want to get your needle ready. Make sure it's a long needle and you want to make sure your thread is long enough to go all the way around the bottom part of the shoe. After you got your needle threaded, what you want to do is start hand sewing the bottom part of the shoe near the rubber. We're going to be doing the top part after. So just, just pick away at doing the bottom part right now. Make sure your stitch lengths are pretty small to keep the hold pretty consistent. So it won't fall off one day and you're just like, oh, oh dang, what, what should I do? So take your time guys, don't rush this. It's, it's gonna be like a long project, just heads up. But once you're reaching or approaching the end, you want to start doing some back stitches. And the way you do back stitches, you basically just go back a stitch and then go forward in a stitch, and that's your back stitch. And then once you got to the very end, you want to make it nice and strong, like a strong pull, and then cut the thread. And then check it out, see that everything is nice and nothing's wrong. But that's what it should look like when you finish the bottom part of the shoe. Next, we're going to be doing the top part. And I'm going to be using the sewing off for this part, but you don't need to use the sewing off. You can still continue to use the needle. The only reason why I'm using the sewing off is because I just want to show you guys that you can also use the sewing off in this project. But it's definitely not necessary to need you don't necessarily need this I mean to do this part but basically you want to just sew hand sew or sew off the top part of the shoe or not top part of the shoe the top part of the fabric and then once you reach the other side of the shoe you want to start doing the back stitch process again so basically you go back a stitch and then forward a stitch, do that towards the very end. So it keeps a nice, nice, nice consistent hold and it just looks nice. It just, it just makes everything looks nice. So just do that. And then once you're done, just want to cut off all the excess fabric if you have any and then cut off all the excess, excess string that was left behind. And in this clip, I was just testing it out, seeing how it looks, cutting off all the excess fabric. But it should look roughly like this when you finish the top and the bottom of the front side. After you finish the front side of the shoe, you want to start doing the back side. And as before, you want to start pinning the fabric down onto the shoe. After you got everything situated, you want to start stitching the fabric down. Again, I'm going to be using the sewing off. And for all you guys who are wondering if the sewing off is actually easier to, do, to use than the needle, 
it's actually harder to be honest because with the sewing on you gotta do this little process and then sometimes if you're not good with putting string into the hole man that's what she said you know it just gets te it's just a lot of tedious work just just that's just my opinion but again with the back side you want to start with the bottom of the fabric or shoe so the part near the rubber you want to do that whole back side bottom bottom side of the back side first and then you want to do the curves strictly after so this is just going to be me doing the back sides this is what the rest of the clips are going to consist of so sit back watch and learn while i play some really cool music After you're done with all the stitching, check if there's any flaws. If they are, go back and restitch those areas. But you're pretty much done. Well, not done, but you gotta still do the other shoe, guys. But once you're done with both of your shoes, it should look something like this on your feet. Uh, mine aren't that perfect because I kind of rushed through it, but whatever. These are dope. I'm gonna wear these out, whatever. So, hope you guys like the tutorial. I worked really hard on it. It helps to give me a like, a subscribe, and a comment. But anyways, guys, hope you guys have a good one. This is Kennedy Daily, and peace.